Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create and manage a drop-down menu in Excel. So I've set myself up here in a wor separate worksheet um, a list of employees. I want to be able to add the year that they've joined, the location that they're based and the department that they're working in. Now I could of course type these in or copy them and paste them from another document, but what I'd like to have here would, would be drop down menus so that I can select the year, the location and the department from a list. Now the first thing I need to do of course is to set up the list themselves. So on a separate worksheet here I've created, uh, and I'm clicking on tabs down on the bottom left hand side of the screen, I've created a separate set of lists and you can see I have a list in column A here for the years, in column B for the locations and in column C for the departments. Notice I've left a blank cell here at the top, it's just a personal preference and I'll show you why in a few moments. So switching back to the uh, staff worksheet, uh, so in, the, in these cells here, B2 down to B5, I would like to have a drop down menu so that I can select the year that uh, John, Jane, Ali and Macy respectively joined the organisation. So when we do this, uh, I've selected all four cells here. To create the drop-down menu, I need to choose the data ribbon across the top of Excel. And then over towards the middle and the right-hand side in the data tool section, there is an option called data validation. So select that. There are three options here. The one we need is the data validation option. So select that. And that gives us our data validation window here. A few things to change in this. The first thing to do is the criteria that we want to have is a list. So we're going to click on the down arrow here to change any value to list. You can see list in the middle option there, so just select that. And then that generates uh, an option for us to enter the source, and that's where the list for this particular uh, item is, and in our case here it's the years. So I'm going to click on the select tool here at the right hand side of this box, switch to the lists worksheet, and I'm going to select the entire column. So with my left mouse button, button I'm clicking A here to select the entire column, not just the years that you see in here. So Go back to the uh, data validation select tool here in the center and click on OK. Now what that has done here is if I click in each cell you can see at the right of each cell there's a little drop down menu and from that uh, I can select the year that a person has joined. Now you can see the, the blank there at the top and the reason for that is, is that when I start off uh, I have a blank cell. So uh, I can choose, uh, let's say John joined the organization in 2002, Jane joined in 2004, Ali joined in 2006, and Maisie joined in uh, 2016. Okay. I can go back in and make changes to any of these, should I choose if I've made any errors or anything like that. Next, let's go and create the location drop-down list. And once again, I'm selecting here from cell C2 down to cell C5, choosing data validation. I'm, once again, I'm going to change the allow from any value to list and select the source by clicking the select button with the little red arrow here on the right hand side. Switch over to the list worksheet and select column B. Click the select tool button again and click OK. Now you can see as I select each cell, there's a little down arrow button here, here to indicate a drop down menu. And when I click on these, again I have a blank so as I can uh, start out with a blank, I can say New York. Uh, I can say uh, London, I can say um, Munich, and I can say New Delhi in here. Okay, And again, I can change should I need to do so at any one time. Finally, let's create the, the department um, drop-down list. So I've se selected once again uh, cells D2 down to cell 5. I could do these one at a time and copy them down should I choose, but this is the easiest way to do it. Choose data validation. Once again, select the list and choose this time we're going to go to the lists worksheet and select column C and click on uh, the select tool again and choose OK. And when I come back to my um, employee sheet here, I can select the uh, department that each person is working in uh, from the drop down menu. So that's first of all how you create the drop down menus. And uh, now let's see uh, if we want to make some changes or what can we do. 
The first thing to notice about a drop down menu, and one of the real advantages of it is, is that you cannot put anything in that is not uh, in the drop down list. So, supposing here for, for the sake of argument, I wanted to put in 1999. So, if I type in 1999, uh, that's not on the list, and I get an error message from Excel telling me that this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. You will recall that I had uh, a list from tw uh, 2000 to 2016. So, I can cancel that, and it stays, goes back to 2002. Similarly, if I try and change production, if I try and say type in the uh, training department, which th is not on the list, if I type that in, I get a similar error message. Okay. Now, uh, so uh, my list is restricted to what's on the list. If I need to make some changes to this, so let's go back to the list here. If I need to make some changes, uh, let's supposing I say I want to put in 2017 here. So I'll put in 2017 on the list. Go back to my uh, menu here. When I select uh, my down arrow, uh, 2017 appears automatically on the list. So I can continue to add to the list as time passes by. I can also add in new locations. If I type in, say, Dublin, for example, and let me add in the training department over here. So that when I now go back to my list, I can get uh, Dublin will be listed in, and the full list here. And I can also choose um, a training department as a new item on my department list. Last thing I want to show you here uh, is relates to the error message. You can see that when I type in something that I get a standard error message. If I want to type in, say, Moscow here, for example, I'm getting a standard default error message. So if I want to tell the user to enter in uh, only the company locations, let's go ahead and do that. So um, I'm going to my uh, select the cell where I want to do this in. I'm going to do it for all four locations. Uh, choose the data ribbon, choose data validation again. And in the data validation window that appears, um, go to the error alert tab here at the top, and you can type in your own message. So, so I'm going to type in type in company locations only, or whatever message that you choose to do here. So I'm going to click on OK. So that if I now uh, go in here and try and say, for example, put in Miami, which is not on the list, I get my customized uh, error message that you can see here. You can do that for department, for the year joined, or for any other item uh, that you care to mention. So if I want to add the city in, I just add it to my list. If I want to add in a department, I just add them in there. So that's how you create and manage a drop-down menu list in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.